Rainy Days and Mondays Always Get Me Down. The Carpenters, 1971, Karen Carpenter's sultry contralto voice. The song cataloged how the singer's mindset simply dictated that very high humidity days in the first day of the Western calendar's work week put her in a depressed mental state, as if she had no control over how she perceived precipitation than the calendar. The song seems to invite commiseration on cyclical depression. The lyrics were penned by Paul Williams, who was himself in the early phases of a two-decade harmful relationship with alcohol and other substances. And if the title isn't enough, more lyrics spell it out more. Sometimes I'd like to quit. Nothing ever seems to fit. Nothing to do but frown. Some kind of lonely clown. Feeling like I don't belong. Sheesh! And Karen Carpenter basically starved herself to death, a victim of anorexia. Now, I've picked this topic for two reasons. First, it's a drizzly, rather dreary day in St. Louis. And second, it happens to be a Monday. I was a true fan of Karen Carpenter's work. She was a magician with her voice. I'm angry with her for treating herself the way she did until her pain was over. Similarly, I'm angry with John Duchendorf. We know him as John Denver. Denver died in what most experts believe was a suicidal airplane crash. His flying privileges had been revoked due to alcohol abuse, and his decision to not fuel appropriately before leaving the airport contributed to what experts believe was a deliberate nose-down crash into the Pacific Ocean. The evidence is pretty clear that Carpenter and Denver were both pursued by demons of their own invention, self-beliefs of inadequacy, Carpenter with her weight obsession and Denver for his need for clarity through alcohol. In some coaching circles, we call this head trash. Paul Williams, to his credit, has been sober since 1990 and become an advocate and certified recovery trainer. He actually wrote songs that both of our heroes performed. But Williams, unlike Carpenter and Denver, finally started to see things through a different lens. I don't know why or how, but he took the road of the little girl who looked at the pile of horse manure and squealed with glee. There must be a pony in here somewhere. I believe we carry our fortune between our ears. How today works out for me is greatly influenced by how I believe it will turn out. Sure, there are circumstances that can simply overwhelm and kick me to the curb, but I'll be damned if I'll go into a rainy Monday believing there's not a pony in that pile somewhere. It's Kim, and this is another moment of clarity. <laughs>